Good morning, everybody. TGIF. God bless you and yours. It's yours truly, Dan Adams, a.k.a. the Hip Hop Conservative, host of Political Heat, Sunday evenings, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, live on War Radio. I'm going to get right into it. Let's get right into the first topic of the day. To drone or not to drone? That is the question. Well, we see that President Barack Hussein Obama had to come out and apologize, y'all. Apologize for the fact that this drone strike ended up killing an American and an Italian hostage. Now, I'm no military expert and don't claim to be. But my question is this. They're saying that they had no idea that these hostages were in this particular uh, place where they wanted to bomb because they knew that there were some head Al-Qaeda uh, leaders, which, which I'm thinking, I thought Al-Qaeda was on the run, Barry. But anyway, um, and then I know that these hostages were there. Here's my thing. What intelligence did they have? What intelli intelligence was gathered? I'm thinking, and this is my thing, that there was not enough intelligence, not enough boots, boots on the ground to find out exactly who was there. And uh, these casualties of these two hostages might have been avoided. This is my thought. You know, anybody else got any opinions on that? Hit me up. Secondly. Loretta Lynch just talked about her on Wednesday before the vote happened. The vote did happen, and she was voted in as the next U.S. Attorney General. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That's my new single, Melodic. Oh, my goodness. iTunes, Amazon, Google Play. Um, seems like some Republicans... Some rhinos, you know, made that happen. And you know who you are. I posted them on my various social media sites. You know who you are. I'm not even gonna name names because at this point I'm so pissed off. I don't even want to I don't even want to acknowledge you. But you know who you are. Thirdly, let's talk about Hillary Clinton and the Clinton Foundation, and Bill and Money they possibly received during Hillary Clinton's Secretary of State run and how she may have influenced things and how she may have gotten that money, especially when uh, during the Russian reset and uh, this whole uranium deal with Putin and, uh, and all these other things going on. And what happened there? I need to do some more investigation. I need to read that New York Times expose. I'm going to be watching Brett Bear's Clinton expose tonight on Fox News. Maybe he'll have some on that in his particular presentation. All I know is this smells as fishy as this river over here that got fish in it. We all know that Hillary Clinton is probably going to just get off scot-free with any infractions that may come her way. Meanwhile, you got General Petraeus, who served this country, who just so happened to do something stupid. Yeah, he never should have revealed anything to this mistress he had. Granted, he did wrong. But he's being punished for it in some capacity. Two years probation. Hillary Clinton is probably only get probably going to get not even two looks from the justice system. Now, seeing that Loretta Lynch, bring it back full circle, is now being sworn in as the next attorney general. She won't bring any charges. The Justice Department won't investigate. And we're all back in the same boat once again. Liberals get special treatment. Liberals 
are hip, hypocrites to the core. Liberals will defend each other no matter what offense may have occurred. And I've said this in the past. And it's happening again. My fellow conservative libertarian patriots, we need to rise up, we need to wake up, and we need to speak up. Stop staying on the sidelines. Speak up. It's time to make that change, y'all. I know there's only two years left in an Obama presidency, but we're going to see how radical this guy is in the next two years, and we need to have our defenses up. And we need to put on an offense to attack the craziness that's about to come. So until next time, TGIF, God bless you and yours. Stay safe. Peace.